Blog Talk Radio. Welcome. You're listening to Perfectly Healthy and Tone Radio with your host, Darren Batman McDuck. And now, prepare to get fat. Hey, 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 what's cracking? This is Darren Fatman McDuffie helping you become perfectly healthy and toned. And welcome back to another episode of Fat Man Radio, Perfectly Healthy and Toned Radio. Tonight, we have a special guest. Her name is Dr. Stacy Nottingham. But before I get to that, I wanted to actually have a couple of announcements for you. So I got my blog on this week. If you have not looked at the blog, please go to imthefatman.com. The title of the blog, and I hope I don't offend anyone, but I hope I make you think it's called Pimps, uh, Pimps, Hoes, and Tracks. So hopefully, hopefully that, that blog post will make you think. It's not what you think it is, but it will make you think. If you have not connected with me on Facebook, please do so. I'm at Facebook.com slash I'm the Fat Man. And also on Twitter, I'm at the Fat underscore Man. So please connect with me on Twitter. And without further ado, before I bring Dr. Stacy on, I wanted to read her bio. Dr. Nottingham focused on women's studies while earning her bachelor's degree from Gosher College. Hope I pronounced that correctly. She later graduated from Life College School of Chiropractic and is a board-certified doctor of chiropractic medicine. A published author in several scientific publications, Dr. Nottingham is an accomplished lecturer and speaker with appearances at medical conferences as well as on television and radio shows. Most recently, Dr. Nottingham was a guest on several episodes of The Suzanne Show with Suzanne Summers, and Suzanne Summers has a really great book if you have not read that. Awarded the honor of being one of America's top chiropractors in 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, and 2013, Dr. Nottingham is currently the CEO of Beyond Biology, an anti-aging service offering state-of-the-art nutrient formulas and utilizing complex state-of-the-art laboratory studies beyond biology changes the lives of people across the globe. And for Dr. Nottingham's website, her website is www.beyond-biology.com. I had that wrong on Facebook, so it is beyond-biology.com. And her number, in case you want to get in touch with her after the show to ask your questions, if you don't call in to ask questions now, her number is one eight 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 nine zero eight zero eight zero four. Again, one eight 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 nine zero eight zero eight zero four. So let me bring Dr. Stacy on the show. Dr. Stacy, are you there? I am. Hi, Darren. Hey, how are you? I'm great. I like the. Um, I don't think I've ever been um, introed with uh, pimps, hoes, and tracks. <laughs> that's my first <laughs> yeah it's not what you think it is it's actually talking about the medical system I just try to get things out there and make people think and try to relate it to something that they are familiar with so thank you for that oh uh, yeah I, li- I like it actually I sound very boring after that should have just started with no. the clothes and tracks and here's Stacy <laughs> <laughs> make me cool <laughs> no so let's get right into it. I hope I did your bio justice, but I want you to kind of tell us our, our uh tell us about your journey and how you really you really got started because I know you have an interesting story to uh relate to the audience well in terms of the in terms of weight loss uh in terms of weight loss um I've been dieting since the age of eleven, so I am a lifetime dieter, and I think that's probably why um we're so successful with our weight loss program. Uh, myself and um, my business partner, Dr. Wasserman, has also lost uh, a lot of weight. So we're, we're always struggling and we're always forever dieting. Um, I've lost over 100 pounds three times in my life. Um, mm-hmm. But recently, I have, over the past 10 years, I've kept, I have kept my weight off. And I think that's just the name of the game is how do you actually, lots of us get to the goal, lots of us get to the goal for one day. Um, and then we journey back on gaining the weight back. So really the goal is, it's, you know, anyone who's ever been on a program will tell you that it's easier, not easy, but easier to get to the goal than it is to keep the weight off. And, you know, I think that's probably, we can get everybody to the goal. That's not a problem for us. I think really 
what takes us to the next level is we really work on um, before every, about 10 to 15 pounds before everybody reaches the goal, we really, we really harp on it's, this is it. Yo-yo dieting really needs to end. And uh, we've been pretty successful with that, thank goodness, only because, you know, Dr. Gail and I have been successful ourselves. So we get it. Mm-hmm. We empathize. We empathize. And you can't fool us. We know all the tricks because we've done them all. <laughs> Now, I was watching one of your, your YouTube videos, and you said you were dieting since the age of 11, and I found that mm-hmm. very hard to believe. And you were dying, dieting at the age of 11. What was your highest weight? My highest, my highest weight was close to 300 pounds, not at the age of 11. I, mm-hmm. I didn't weigh 300 pounds at the age of 11, but I was probably about 50 pounds overweight at the age of 11. Um, and, you know, and I never, I wasn't one of those kids who was picked on or anything like that. Um, but mm-hmm. I was definitely overweight. Um, I was never skinny. Uh, my, you know, I guess, and my parents very, very lovingly. Um, my mother and I actually went to a, a program together, I guess, so that she should, you know, I shouldn't feel uncomfortable um, dieting. So actually, we went together, and as a team, we went on a program. Not that she really needed to go, but I guess I really needed to go. Um, and that was just the process of starting to lose and gaining it back and starting to lose and gaining it back and literally since the age of uh, since the age of 11 but the big weight gain didn't happen until adult life which is probably around the age of 30 right. or in, actually and probably in the 20s is when it started right and now you mentioned on one of your videos when I was watching your lecture you said that the doctor said that around 30 you had to kind of pull things together what made you start to get committed to really trimming down and really staying, really keeping the course with this? Um, You know, I don't think any person who's trying to lose weight isn't really committed. I I really believe that all of us are committed. We want to get to the goal, and we do crazy, crazy diets. I've I've done every diet out there from the cabbage soup diet to, you know, uh, diet center to Weight Watchers to Atkins to South Beach. I've done acupuncture in the ear. I mean, we've, we've all done all of them. And they're very hard diets to do, I have to tell you. Mm-hmm. Uh, so dieting, you know, people who are on diets and who are really suffering with weight, it's not that we don't have discipline. Because most people could not under, undergo the torture that we put ourselves through. Um, I, what happened with me at the age of 30 was, my numbers, my blood test numbers started to change, and the sugar mm-hmm. started to go up, and the insulin started to go up. And uh, I had a very nice doctor who never made me feel uncomfortable about my weight, um, just said to me, you know what, you're smart enough to know that right now you're healthy. However, these not, you're not, eventually you're going to run out of luck, and you are probably inevitably going to become a type 2 diabetic. And just for health reasons, if nothing else, you really need to try to get this together or more than likely you're going to be